Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're taking a look at Hina and the Psy Striker team in Pirate Rumble, taking on some of the PvP challenges and showcasing a bit of a different side to Psy with the release of one of the new PvP rare recruits. And I really like this particular Hina. Um, I was probably a little bit harsh on her to begin with because she is a striker centric character, she gives HP blow away percent up and I think attack level 5 to strikers however Psy do actually have a lot of striker characters and as you guys can see here we have put together a mono Psy team in quotation marks because Whitepit and Roger technically aren't Psy in PvP but they are just exceptionally strong and they actually do buff Psy characters with their passive so they work exceptionally well on this particular team but Hina being a striker centric buff uh, but unit, we can actually build out um, a very interesting team that is a core centric around Enel and Kuzan, as well as uh, uh, Sai Yamato. So, this particular team is incredibly strong and um, does see like it seem like it could do some really cool stuff in the future. It does have some other options. Obviously, if Nami was like buffed or was brought back to life. She could possibly see some play on this team. She's more of a free spirit-centric character. But with the new Whitebeard um, from Verse Whitebeard and Blackbeard, that's actually another option here. But I just found that, like, Whitebeard and Roger, just with their decimation, how much damage they do. Like, watch this. Like, this 30% HP cut into, like, a literal instant kill of two units is just way too valuable for a team. On top of that, they actually do buff Psy as well. Rebecca Toy Soldier also got their uh, level limit break as well. They're actually very, very good. And same with Kogara Nolan. They're, um, they got their level limit break too. And if you're coming up against Driven or Powerhouse characters or Int, I think they... Is it Int that they nerf? Um, Kogara Nolan can actually be a very, very good option off the bench because they're actually a striker too. As you can see there, we had no issues taking down the Blue Gem Quick Driven fight. Let's move on to another one and uh, keep having a look at what this Powerhouse team can do. All right, so on to the... Uh, driven team with Orochi the challenge by now I decided to bring Rebecca Toy Soldier into the front their passive is so good for Sai that I just can't ignore it but I also wanted to see how Whitebeard does on the bench now Whitebeard has a passive where he gets extra buffs when you only have four units and himself left I, I believe so I do think that he's probably going to work a little bit nicer on a defensive team just like this Hina the Hina's special hits a unit five times and I think it can spread out to different characters but she has a 100% chance to action bind, very similar to what Odin can do. So I feel like having Whitebeard on the team, um, when I, is, I think it's either the opposition has four more units than you, or you only have four units left. Um, I do think that Whitebeard's going to see some some interesting play on a defensive team with stuff like Yamato, Kuzan, Whitebeard himself, uh, and then having Hina in the middle just being very, very annoying with the, the action bind that she can provide. However, the downside to Hina's action bind is if the enemy's immune to the action bind, it really doesn't mean all that much. The difference between this Hina and the Legend Hina, though, is she can actually do damage as well. And if she goes after, like, the 100% the, uh, half stats that Yamato can provide, she can bink a unit insanely well because you have so much attack with this team. As you guys kind of saw there, like, Hina was at one point was at 38 attack, which is a pretty substantial amount for a PvP um, rare recruit, as well as what the actual team provides. Yamato is giving uh, HP as well. Uh, sorry, attack as well. You're getting um, defensive buffs, level 3 with um, Anil and Rebecca Toy Soldier are also giving a nice defensive level 5 as well with uh, their passive. Which is what makes them so well, so good in the front for you sort of bulk here. Kuzan's also nerfing stuff like Int. He can do a lot of like fixed damage. Uh, so he's a very, very good unit with his level to break 5. Everyone knows how amazing like Kuzan is. We don't have to ramble on about how good he is. But he also buffs um, the Psy type as well. So you can do some really, really cool stuff there. And then this particular team can can tear through some, some real powerhouse juggernaut teams. Obviously, it does still struggle against uh, strength. Size always seem to have a bit of a downfall to the strength typing. Um, namely, characters that can get through defense, characters that move very, very quickly. And trying to do some, some of the strength fights um, with this particular side team and other side teams has been a bit of a challenge in the past. But uh, Sai has always been in a weird spot where... It's a 50-50 coin flip because of stuff like Yamato, stuff, stuff like Odin. But this particular team does seem to have a little bit more security to it than um, what that team actually does have. And as you can see, they're like, Hayden can do some, some crazy damage, man. All in all, though, it, it's still a Psy team. And I, I'm still, I don't know, I've been hurt too many times by Psy. The, the proverb stands that when you use Psy, it just fails. But when you verse Psy, it always destroys you but 
upside now is we are using white bearded roger whenever i'm using white bearded roger my my soul rests just a little bit easier because i know that i'm going to be hitting incredibly hard and look whether you want to call this a side team or whether you want to call this more of a striker team i like to call it a side striker hybrid um that's sort of the way i like to go with this type of stuff when you are bringing unconventional characters if you guys checked out um yesterday's video with the strength striker hybrid uh using stuff like white bearded roger using stuff like um shanks crew then uh, you can call it whatever the hell you want at the end of the day. But for me, I'm going to call it more of a, more of a Psy, Psy hybrid. A Psy, Psyker hybrid sort of team. And um, I do find that if I'm going to be using a Psy team, this is probably the one that I'm going to be going for. Nowadays, I do like stuff like Odin on the Free Spirit team. More or less on the, something like the Psy team. Just because it just relies way too much on the... Um, the crazy speed of what that side team can do and sort of the, the RNG that Odin and Yamato need. But with this team, as you can see, like, it doesn't need that at all. Wiping and Roger is binking two units. The 4k fixed damage is crazy. Uh, it, if Yamato halves that much units and then misses those units, Hina has five shots coming through that she can hit. Enel's popping his special off so drastically and everyone being striker means that everyone's getting all of the nice chunky buffs. From not only Wipin and Roger buffing Psy, but from uh, Hina buffing just directly strikers. Putting Hina in the middle works exceptionally well as well too. Because if you lose a unit, I do think that losing Hina is probably like the most valuable one to lose. Because after she's gone off, like you can have Rebecca Toy Soldier come in and give their insane passive. And if you were to lose someone's passive here, I do think either losing like Enel or losing Hina would be the, the most valuable in quotation marks to actually lose. So they're the two units that I would put in the middle if you were looking at having units in the middle. Try and protect Wipeed Roger. Try and protect Yamato. They're your damage dealing units. So always put them on the wings. Then having characters like Rebecca Toy Soldier come in. Rebecca Toy Soldier, by the way, can, can uh, nuke exceptionally well. Having stuff like um, Kolgara Nolan come in for their nuking capabilities works exceptionally well as well. Where Sai seem to struggle the most, though, is against Int and characters like your Rogue and Apu. But... With this new Hina, like, you, you can do some crazy-ass stuff and actually take down Apu and Yurog and that int-driven kind of centric build with the help of Wano Law still. Wano Law is still a phenomenal unit to sort of nerf the CT capabilities that um, Driven and Powerhouse characters have. And Int has just been littered with Powerhouse Driven units. And both Yurog and Apu are of those class types. But they are so good at decimating Psy that you just need Law's help to sort of bring your CT up and reduce the enemy CT. So you can do some really, really fun stuff there. Um, obviously, I wouldn't recommend using a Psy team against this challenge fight, but I really wanted to showcase the new capabilities that this Psy team actually has. Now, I have seen some stuff. Shout out to Itachi, my Alliance member. Big ups to you, brother. Uh, and Trill, who have been testing stuff for, for me as well. They're big PvP nerds just like myself. Um... We've actually been doing a lot of testing with... Look how much damage that is, though. 5k, 3k, 5k. Like, that's nuts. Uh, we've been doing a lot of testing with stuff like Ace uh, on the side team as well because you have a bit of a like shooter-centric team with Rebecca Toy Soldier's buff and Kuzan as well. So that's another really, really good shout, and they've actually taken down this fight as well with their own sort of hybrid verse teams. But again, having Wipin and Roger like on the ready, this particular team, we had Wipin and Roger on the bench because I knew I was going to lose units because of stuff like Rogue, because of stuff like um, Apu. But seeing what the damage can... Like, Kolgar and Nolan now, like, they can hit hard, man. Like, they can do damage. Um, they're a striker as well, which is super cool, because they're getting a lot of buffs there too. Um, but having uh, Wipe and Roger on the bench for me, is just it's such a safety net for these particular teams. And whilst Wipe and Roger don't boost striker per se, they, they get buffed themselves through striker, but they are buffing the rest of the side team. And the, the weird janky synergy that probably shouldn't work just seems to work with these striker hybrid builds and all the stuff and all the capabilities that you can actually do here. Do we actually win this fight? Bro, this is looking this is looking sketch as hell. Wipe Roger clutches. This is why Wipe and Roger are so good, man. They clutch they clutch this, don't they? Oh my day, so good. But let me know your thoughts and opinions of the new Psy Striker. And the new Hina in the comment section below. Why you down there, belt like button, hit the subscribe button. Do all that good stuff for me. Most importantly, though, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.